back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you very much for joining the show this morning. We appreciate you taking the time to watch, as always. But this morning, we've got two great dudes here in the studio, father and son. We've got Caleb Berry and his dad, Deshaun, here in the studio. Good to see you, man. Always, bro. It's Always. great to see you, too. Always. It's nice to see you when we're not in the duck blind. <laughs> I'm lying. I'd rather see him in the duck blind. <laughs> uh, I've had a chance to hunt with uh, Caleb a handful of times, and hopefully this year we'll be able to do it again. We need weather, man. <laughs> Just as long as we get some water and the birds will cooperate, we'll be fine. Yeah, be. But we're here to talk about Get Hooked. And you guys, listen, we've had a chance to do this for several years now with Outdoor GPS. Long before we got here to KPDX, we started having the opportunity to interact with them uh, and help just get the word out, right? You guys do some amazing things. And it seems like after we get you in here, our Facebook thing, which I'm not a huge social media person, explodes. Uh, people are always trying to figure out ways that they can help out. And it's just because you both do amazing things. Yesterday, you just had an event where you yeah. had 480 some odd people yeah. show up. Yeah. And you got another event that's coming up right around the corner. What yeah. can people expect at this next event over at Kelly Point? You know, we're having another uh, fishing tournament at Kelly Point Park. And it's with uh, Multnomah County Health, Environmental Health, and also okay. ODFW. Um, and it's mostly to just highlight um, what you can and cannot eat on the Willamette River. Um, as That's we a all, great topic. You know, yeah. As yeah. we all know, there are uh, things you can't eat out of the Willamette River. Yeah. Um, we'll be talking about migratory fish and mm -hmm. some opportunities of people who are keeping the fish of how they can consume them and so on and so forth. There'll be prizes available for like the biggest carp cod and sure. it's all catch and release. And uh, we have some opportunities for people if they don't have the funding to get licenses and don't have the finances to get them, we have some opportunities for them to still show up and provide them with licenses for the day. Oh, very cool. So um, some really cool opportunities to get people out who have some financial barriers to, to getting outdoors. Uh, mm -hmm. That's one of our big things is just taking down the barriers to getting outdoors, whether it be financial or gear related. And so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, June 29th, Kelly Point Park, nine to two. Um, we have some uh, donations that were donated for uh, from the next adventure. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking forward to it, Deep man. Brian, you guys are awesome. Yep. We miss you. Absolutely awesome. They do a lot of different things. They helped out with our Hag, Hag Lake event also. And so very nice, um, yeah. really, really cool guys. Now, Hag Lake yesterday, there was a pretty big event there, and Blue yeah. Lake, they just improved it. They, I know you've spent some time there in the past. Yeah. They just yeah. made some improvements there, uh, making that more accessible, better fishing from what the folks told me. Uh, you guys got this event that's coming up here in just a week. What can we look forward to going forward? You know, uh, the Blue Lake thing was actually um, phenomenal. They had mm -hmm. a huge amount of funding, and I was on the pro project planning for that to pick the developers who were actually going to develop it. Um, yeah. They've redone the, the docks there, the water water features um, and most of the park just opened back up and we will have some information on our uh, website not our website but our Facebook and Instagram about an event that's going to be happening there with Metro oh, very um, in cool. the near future and so uh, actually a ceremony to basically open back up the park in the areas that oh. are closed off and so um, yeah just a lot of stuff going on man um, we try to stay busy um, as p much as possible there's yeah. a need for us it seems like the need is not going away no and um, we just try to be in the spot to where we're trying to influence kids to be a part of the fisheries and explaining to them the importance of having a fishery around well and it, it falls down to more than just fishing right Caleb I mean yeah. one of the topics you're gonna have there at uh, Kelly Point is what you should or should shouldn't eat yeah. and I giggle there but, but it's an absolute thing you can go out to the Willamette and catch and release any number uh, of species that are out there and you know when in doubt throw it back right yeah. it's just that simple uh, but there's more to it than just the fishing side of things in the past we've talked about some of the other uh, events that, that kids can participate in learning about other things if it's the trees to the water to the, the other wildlife that's out there what can they expect when they come to learn that yeah yeah definitely well I, I want to highlight too we just had a six-week program that we did with Evergreen High School mm -hmm. um, that was it was awesome so there was 26 kids um, we did a six-week program. We did four uh, sessions uh, in class, and then the other two were field trips. Mm -hmm. um, and it was it was amazing. Um, I mean, to talk about what you were just talking about, they really immersed themselves um, in, in several different ways. Uh, we talked about the fisheries. We talked about, uh, you know, being outside. Uh, we actually went to the Columbia Springs hatchery, and they learned about how oh. water from um, Vancouver actually um, – comes down the the mountainside there and comes and it's a natural spring fed hatchery mm -hmm. um and so there's so many different things that these kids can immerse themselves when they come they, they then when they come to our events they can expect mm -hmm. um, it's not always about fishing exactly I mean, it's just it, it's just not we we have our days where we don't catch anything yeah right. but we still know that we got outside we it, it's it's almost like a peace of mind for mm -hmm. us yeah so, um i think it's it's always bigger than fishing it's it, it's okay and sometimes it's 
all right to not catch a fish, but yeah. <laughs> we we really want to make sure that kids know that like it's not guaranteed every time. Mm -hmm. Sure, you sure. Know? And there's a lot more to it, right? It's yeah. like you mentioned, it's getting in the outdoors, having a chance to decompress. Uh, me with an 11 year old now moving on to 20, it seems like. Uh, well, you know, anytime you can get them away from any sort of electronics, I think I were lucky with that. Uh, outdoors is the number one way to do it. Absolutely. Also, this is a way that you can help these kids get involved into the outdoors. When we come back, we're going to talk about some of their upcoming events and how you at home, uh, if you can't volunteer your time, how you might be able to donate, right? How you can just figure out a way uh, to help others. And there's so many ways that you can do it, and they're very easy be quite honest with you. We'll be back with that uh, in just a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by Yakima Bait, steeped in tradition, innovation, and fishing success. And by Procure Bait Sense, ruthlessly effective.